First of all, you know, the, the, uh, the movie itself, Lee's, I've been a big fan of Lee's uh, ever since uh, his first film. And, and the cast that they've started to assemble was pretty impeccable. And uh, um, <laughs> I think there was like seven or eight Academy Award nominees or winners in the cast. So, um, but mostly I think it was, uh, it was just the excitement of hearing that someone was thinking that I could actually uh, be right for Kennedy. And uh, so the excitement turned to fear naturally <laughs> because of the, you know, the, uh, the, the burden not the burden necessarily, but the uh, responsibility to history. Uh, but but it's it's been uh, it's been terrific. I've immersed myself in the in the studies and uh, the accent and uh, prosthetics and everything. I really want to do him justice, and uh, it's a it's a it's a really special experience to be a part of this movie, and and not only that, but to be playing such an icon. To me, it's like, you know, he, he was such a specific character. Um, and the, the danger is, is doing a caricature. Um, you don't want to just come off like you're doing an impersonation of John F. Kennedy. You want there to be, uh, you know, real fibers of reality, uh, you know, in him. And uh, um, you want to keep him human. And uh, it's easy to depict what we all know and see in our heads. And, uh, and have seen in, uh, in, in movies and, and news clips and, and photos. Um, and so for me it is, I sort of, I have to learn the, the dialect. I, I wanted to learn his mannerisms. You know, he, he had a specific posture. He would sort of lean forward a bit because he had a bad back. He was chronically ill um, most of the time. Um, so I wanted to get all those down and then I wanted to forget about it. Uh, so that I could concentrate on the dialogue, on the humanity of the character, and not get hung up on, um, you know, whether or not my accent is working, or, or, or uh, whether or not the hair looks exactly right, or the posture. Um, you wanted to get, the, I wanted to get those so ingrained in me that I wasn't. Uh, they were, they, be, they became autopilot. You know, I could actually act and uh, be present in the scene. I think it's, uh, I think the story of the butler is an is amazing uh, account and uh, an incredible recollection by this gentleman. And um, it is, uh, it's specific and interesting and different in the sense that it takes you in a time warp through, not just to one specific time period, but through, uh, I believe, eight presidencies, um, but all from the unique perspective uh, of Eugene Allen. And uh, I think that was, I think that's what makes this really interesting. I think it's important to, um, to remind everyone uh, what we went through and not too long ago. Um, I don't see any, anything bad that can come from that. I gotta be honest, it has been so much fun to, um, to be playing these, again, these iconic characters. And, and you know, it's a, it's a great responsibility, but it's also great fun um, to show up and see uh, uh, Minka looking, you know, like a spitting image of, of Jackie and, and had the, the beautiful brown doe eyes and the, and the, uh, uh, the charm and the, the elegance. We did a scene the other day where I, I, I introduced myself to the staff and I'm walking down uh, and shaking everyone's hands and I'm like, at one point I'm like, Oscar winner, Grammy winner, another Oscar winner. I loved watching him because he, uh, he obviously directs as well and uh, it was just so interesting seeing him uh, get into character um, and how he navigates with other actors and, and um, he is the consummate pro and, and he just beams goodness and um, I, would, uh, I would want every other actor that I ever work with to be like Forrest um, for the experience yeah. and, um, and of course he's, uh, 
remarkably talented. And working with Lee is, uh, is a show, man. I love it. It's, uh, he is a spirit and an energy that, like I've, I've never seen. And uh, to be in his field of gravity is really something special. Um, he believes in this. He's juggling 5,000 things at one time, and yet he still finds the, the time to focus on the, the smallest of details or the questions that you have in your mind. And, and he knows how to... He's very good at stripping you of what, uh, what you see in your head as what you're going to look like on screen. And if he sees any sort of false moment or any sort of manufactured uh, uh, moment that actors fall victim to all the time, I, I do, we all do, um, you know, he's on it and he goes, oh, try this, take you over here, take you this way. And, uh, and he guides you and he's, he's a really, uh, he's got wonderful taste in, in um, and filmmaking and takes and acting and and it's it's I can't tell you with a role like this you need how how important trust is with a director